Who fired the shot that hit LMPD Sergeant John Mattingly in March on the night Brianna Taylor was killed? It is a question Kenneth Walker's attorneys are now raising today, suggesting it could have come from another officer. Well, the allegation laid out in a brand new lawsuit, but not yet backed in evidence. Shay McAllister is breaking down the lawsuit and what Kenneth Walker has to say about it. The charges brought against me were meant to silence me and cover up Brianna's murder. For her and those that I love, I can no longer remain silent. Speaking out on the steps of Metro Hall with his parents behind him, Kenneth Walker explained why he filed this 74-page lawsuit against 19 city employees, including LMPD officers and elected officials. The police arrested, jailed, and charged me with murder of a police officer. I was raised by a good family. I am a legal gun owner, and I would never know we shoot a police officer. His attorney raising questions for the first time about who shot LMPD Sergeant John Mattingly, suggesting it wasn't Walker, like police have said all along. It is obviously possible, but until we see the ballistics report and reflects that, then we think it is much more likely that one of the 35 to 45 shots fired by LMPD is what struck Officer Mattingly. Pointing to possible answers in the FBI's ballistics report, which is now in the hands of the attorney general, they say they'll wait and see, but they're done waiting for accountability in what they describe as a botched case against Walker. When the police charge somebody wrongly and then realize it or knowing all along say, yeah, we're going to dismiss the case. Oops, sorry. He's supposed to just say thank you and walk away. No, there has to be consequences to what they did. Consequences for the charges and consequences for what they call sloppy police work. Pointing a finger at the surveillance Mattingly described in his police interview, he says he checked out the apartment before they served the warrant and only Brianna Taylor was reported to be inside. It is, it is back to just the, the, the negligence and recklessness and sloppy nature of this entire raid. When they report that there's no one there and there's a guy sleeping in the bed. Another jab at the execution of the warrant, Romine says the police admitted the apartment was a soft target that posed no threat, but they didn't act that way. Now, he wants them to pay. The lawsuit demands damages, saying Walker has suffered trauma, humiliation, indignity, physical pain, and mental anguish. And Walker wants immunity against any future charges in connection to March 13th. We did reach out to LMPD, and they told us they do not comment on pending litigation. Doug?